Freedom of expression is a fundamental human right, essential to upholding the rule of law and fostering democratic societies. In many countries, journalists are being threatened, attacked, and sometimes murdered for bringing essential information to the public, uncovering corruption and trafficking. Many of the attacks happen when journalists are covering protests, public demonstrations and elections, and when police officers are trying to maintain the public order. Attacks against journalists create a climate of fear for them, impeding the free circulation of information. This is even more critical during electoral periods because it prevents citizens from making an informed choice. From January 2019 to June 2022, 759 attacks against journalists took place in the context of at least 89 elections. 42% of them were committed by law enforcement agents. When the attacks are perpetrated by those who have the duty to protect, the role of law enforcement is questioned. Improving the relationship between journalists and security forces is a critical part of promoting freedom of expression and ensuring that crimes against journalists do not go unpunished. Transparent law enforcement institutions which respect freedom of expression and the right to information, promote accountability, and are also essential for the rule of law. That is why a new type of dialogue between security forces and journalists, while keeping their independence, is needed for the common good of societies. Since 2013, UNESCO and its partners have trained over 11,500 law enforcement officials worldwide. The workshops typically involve practical exercises with police and journalists in real-life situations where tensions may arise, such as demonstrations, riots, and public events where journalists are often targeted. During the training, police officers are taught good practices, including establishing media perimeters, providing real-time information to inform the public, and building trustworthy relations with the media. As part of the workshops, journalists also come face-to-face -face with the police to encourage dialogue, trust, and understanding of their respective roles. The training includes various scenarios and role-playing exercises to prepare law enforcement officials on how to deal with the media during press conferences, crime scenes, and events related to elections. Estos espacios ayudan para llegar a puntos en conjunto o de acuerdo entre lo que sucede positivo y negativo entre ambos lados, entre la policía, la fuerza pública y nosotros los periodistas. Son excelentemente estas herramientas que hemos obtenido porque nos ha empleado la visión de cómo en realidad enfrentar algunas situaciones que a veces tenemos eh, al trabajar con los periodistas en la prensa y cómo podemos eh, trabajar en equipo para llevar cada uno nuestro trabajo. Y exactamente como una interacción de sortir de lance de que no, finalmente, no hay forcément un méchant en la historia. Building bridges between journalists and security officers not only promotes freedom of expression, but carves a path towards more peaceful societies.